Concorde isn't a huge aeroplane. It's quite narrow inside, it's only nine feet. But you'd be distracted with fine food and fine wine. Many champagnes were available and the menu was a specially designed menu served on Royal Dalton, China. There was no proper in-flight entertainment as modern people would think. No TV screens. There was radio you could listen to, but the real entertainment was Concorde herself. For a start, you're flying at twice the speed of sound, at 60,000 feet. That's 11 miles high. 95% of the Earth's atmosphere is below you. If you were to look out Concorde's rather small windows, you could see the curvature of the Earth below you and the darkness of space above. You'd often see some famous faces on board as well. The Queen Mother, for example, often flew Concorde, and one Concorde pilot told us that he once invited her to the cockpit. She said whenever she heard it flying over her house, she would come out and wave to Concorde. Well, after that, they decided they'd signal to the Queen Mother by turning on their landing lights. And this soon became habit amongst all British Airways Concorde pilots when they flew over the Queen Mother's residence. When Concorde was announced to be retired in 2003, suddenly everyone wanted a last chance to fly on her. Most flights were fully booked. But the last ever one from New York to London was one of the most riotous, probably, of Concorde's life. Many of the biggest celebrities of the time who loved Concorde booked to be on that flight and a lot of champagne was consumed. 